Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to send HTTP request using Telnet. So are you ready? Let's get started. So normally when you want to test an HTTP access to website, you just open uh, your browser. So here for example I'm using Chrome and you type the URL of the website. So here I'm gonna test it using I, my local web server which has an IP address 192.168.1.108 okay so as you can see here it's a Windows web server so I can access it but this method requires actually a web browser so here I'm using Chrome so what will you do if you don't have a web actually browser like Chrome or Firefox for example you can just use the command line or for example if you are using Linux you can also use the command line in order to test the HTTP request and we'll be using famous command a very old one Telnet so under uh, Windows here you go to your command prompt here we go you tap CMT in your search bar and you just type Telnet okay so here I have Telnet installed so let me quit so if you don't have Telnet under Windows you can actually install it because it's not installed by default so in order to install this command Telnet in Windows you go to your search here and you type simply Windows features okay so you can see here I have a shortcut turn Windows features on or off so you click on it and you get this window here okay so you go to the bottom and you search for Telnet client so by default it's unchecked so we'll find it like here so which means if it is unchecked that the telnet command is not available so all you have to do is to just to check it and to hit ok in order to get telnet working so now that telnet is actually installed so in order to test the http request to any website or any local website you just type telnet and your site for example you can test it with the fortinet Okay.com, and as you may know, Telnet use the port 23 by default. But here we want to test HTTP request, so we have to change the port to 80. Or if you are using HTTPS, you will use the port 443. Okay. So here, let's just test it using port 80. And if you get this cursor here blinking, it means that you actually, your HTTP request has succeeded. So we hit enter and you get a lot of uh, here HTML uh, actually here, as you can see, a lot of code, which means that we accessed the index page of the website. Okay. So let's test that using our uh, command actually so let's clear that here I'll be using uh, the same thing using my local web server which has this as IP address so let's test that so I'll type telnet and my local web server which has an IP address 192.168.1.108 and of course I will add the port by default which is 80 here we go so I have here the blinking cursor which means that I have access to this uh, web server and if I hit enter here we go or control C actually I get this HTML doc type which means that the index page has been accessed okay so now let's simulate that you don't have access to web server ok 
okay so I will turn off this uh, Windows web server and I will come back to show you what happens if the web server is not accessible okay so now I have turned off my local web server so you can see I don't have access on a web browser okay so you can see this site can't be reached so let's see the behavior of the telnet command in this case so let me open the command prompt here so I will do the same thing telnet and the IP address of my local web server and of course the port which is by default 80 okay and you can see now that I don't have the blinking cursor anymore so we get connection to this uh, web server local web server and it's still trying to connect to the web server okay so let's see actually and do it what we get so you can see at the end I get this message could not open connection to the host on port 80 connection failed so if you get this message it means that the HTTP request has actually failed okay so with this simple telnet command actually you can test the connectivity to any website that you want okay so of course here I'm using the IP address but you can use uh, an URL if you have it or not okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to simulate an HTTP request using the famous telnet command and as I told you the same thing actually applies if you are using actually any flavor of Linux like Ubuntu or Debian or Red Hat you can test the connectivity of any web server using the telnet command and please do not forget the port so here I'm using HTTP which by default using the port 80 but if you are testing the connectivity to an HTTPS or secure HTTP connection you have to add the port 443 and this is very very useful if you are using actually Linux servers because normally the Linux servers don't have actually graphical user interface they are just using actually the command line in order to test the connectivity to any external website so at the end I wish it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye